Hot on the heels of the awesome mac and cheese flavour, Shul have added two new flavours to their complete nutrition hot and savoury range. Chick, N and mushroom and uh, Cajun pasta. Are they any good? What's in them? And what do they taste like? Well, let's find out. When Shul released their hot and savoury range, I loved the concept, a hot, tasty, plant-based instant meal that provides your body with all the micro and macronutrients it needs. It made a great alternative to just a complete nutrition shake. And with flavours like Thai curry, Mexican chilli and the awesome mac and cheese, colour me impressed. Well, now they've added two new hot and savoury flavours in the form of chick en and mushroom, that's how it's written, and Cajun pasta. I've been tasting and testing complete nutrition products for over five years and traditionally they just came in the form of a powder shake or a ready to drink or even a bar. But when Huel introduced their hot and savoury range, it was a game changer. I mean, I love my lunchtime complete nutrition drink, whether in bottle form or as a shake you make up. But in the evening, well, I want something hot and savoury. Enter stage left, Huel. This is a complete nutrition product. So it's a careful mix of whole food ingredients packed with 26 essential vitamins, proteins, carbs, fats, fibres, all in the correct proportions that your body needs. Huel are careful what they put in their products and the hot and savoury range is no different as it contains whole foods like pasta, grains and vegetables. The protein is 100% plant based and you get slow release carbs from the grains and pasta that they use. In addition, it has omega-3 and 6 fats, MCTs from coconut oils, essential for good brain health and that kind of stuff. It's got added vitamin D2 and D3. It's lactose free, high in fiber and GMO free as well. The macronutrients are carefully balanced. And in terms of the hot and savory range, you get a macro split of 38 to 25, 30 and seven, being the split of carbohydrates, fats, protein, fiber respectively. And for reference, there's 24 grams of protein. Each serving is 400 calories. That's if you're using the two scoops. And that's going to give you 8.9 grams of fat, 55 grams of carbs and 24 grams of protein. This exact breakdown may vary slightly depending on the flavour you have, but it's only going to vary by the odd gram here and there. The main ingredients in the range tend to include flaxseed, grains, so that's brown rice and quinoa, pulses, pea protein, sunflower oil, vegetables and pasta. But ultimately, what do they taste like? Because at the end of the day, it's that balance of convenience and taste that's key. So let's find out and take the chicken and mushroom and the Cajun pasta for a taste drive. Okay, so we're trying the chicken mushroom, the chicken and mushroom, little chicken there. Okay, and I've made it up. I made it up in the microwave. I'll just show you what it looks like. You need to mix it quite well because it's a combination of the powder and the pasta, if I just show you there, bits of tiny dried pasta and then the powder. So you've got to make sure you mix it well because uh, obviously the powder will sink to the bottom and stuff like that. So make sure you mix it well, sort of scrape from the bottom as it were up and hopefully then you'll get a good distribution of the pasta and the powder accordingly. So I've made it up here. I've put it in a bowl so you can see. So I'm going to do this without dropping. So you, if I just uh, try and... Hopefully that'll focus. There you go. Just smells like a sort of, um, you know, maybe a pasta from a packet type stuff, but that's not surprising. Let's see what it tastes like. You can see the bits of mushroom in there. There's a sort of bit of black bit of mushroom there. I mean, it's not chicken, so you've got to remember, bear that in mind. But literally, um, maybe a minute, two minutes, two and a half minutes in the microwave, and then you leave it for five minutes. Wow, unbelievably the pasta is um, soft, so the pasta's cooked through. And then it just has a sort of a savoury... It's like, oh it's quite creamy, it's like obviously artificial chickeny taste, but there's it's certainly a sort of a savoury taste. No spice at all. 
I mean, it's not meant to have any spice, but just so you know. Because I know some people found some of the other hot and savoury quite spicy. So it's good to have things like the mac and cheese and then this chicken and mushroom now. So they're kind of less, less spicy. But it tastes really nice. A nice warming dish. But you know that it's nutritionally complete. I mean, you may wish to add some sort of more pepper or something like that, the salt to flavour, whatever, but because um, it is quite, it's quite mild. I'm not saying it's bland, but it's quite, quite mild. So you can sort of pep it up a bit if you want. Uh, but very, very nice. I could have that on a regular basis. Um, very good. Okay, today we're going to be trying the Cajun pasta here, and I've made it in the pot that you'll uh, supply just as an alternative. And again, with this, it's two scoops and then you uh, add 200 mils of boiling water, give it a good stir, cover uh, for five minutes and you're good to go. And certainly sort of a spicy orangey color to the overall mix here, I'll just show you. That's what it looks like. And I don't know if you can see in there, but it's got sweet corn, not a big fan of sweet corn uh, that's just stuffed in stuff, but there you go. Certainly when you smell, open the packet, it can really sort of smell the kind of uh, spices there and stuff like that, that's like sort of peppery spice. And then this is what it looks like um, cooked. Let's see there, hopefully you can see there. Everything looks nice and soft. Pasta looks like it's been cooked through. Big question of course is, what does it taste like? It smells quite nice. Cajun pasta is a funny one to me, like I'm not sure, Cajun and pasta don't really go together, but they're not the first uh, complete nutrition product to do a Cajun pasta. Uh, in a pot, but we'll see what this tastes like. Yeah, the pasta is nice and soft there. A bit of a crunch, slightly. El dente. But no, it's cooked through. I'm not getting a strong flavour. There is a sort of a peppery, Cajun sort of pepperiness to it, but it's not sort of super strong or spicy. Not as hot, hot as I was anticipating. Oh, there's the sweet corn I tasted. The corn. Mmm, that's nice because it's not as strong as I was expecting. For some people it may not be spicy enough. But um, I've had some other Huel hot and savoury. And uh, some of that can be super spicy uh, in a good way. Uh, but this isn't too bad. This is sort of a peppery aftertaste. But the flavouring's not overpowering the actual pasta. Um, I'm tasting the pasta as well there. So, um, not bad. I think I prefer the chick and mushroom version. Um, but this is alright. As I say, it's a good alternative. Um, so there you go. Um, Cajun pasta. I think the concept of Cajun pasta is a bit weird, personally, from a taste point of view. But when I made it in the bowl using the microwave method, rather than the pot that he'll provide, I did get more of that spicy flavour come through. So at the end of the day, it really depends on whether you like spicy things. Personally, between the two, I prefer the chick and, and mushroom flavour of the two. Um, I keep saying it like that because that's the way it's written. Price-wise, each bag contains seven meals and you have to order a minimum of three bags. If you're not sure about Huel products, they do do a bestseller bundle that may be worth checking out. Anyway, three bags are going to cost you £55.80 if you subscribe for delivery every four weeks, which works out about £2.66 per meal for a 400 calorie meal. If you opt for a one-off purchase, that's going to be £62 and a penny for those three bags, which is £2.95 per meal. And it's worth noting that these have a shelf life of 12 months, so don't worry if you don't think you're going to get through it all. And it's still cheaper than, I say, a shop-bought sandwich and a lot more healthy for you. And ultimately, you need to balance the convenience of having that quick, fast food, as it were, with the price. I mean, this is as fast as a pot noodle, but a lot more healthy. In fact, it's as healthy as a prepped and carefully measured out chef-prepared meal for you. So there you go. It's a winner for me. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, then please hit those likes because I like them, YouTube likes them, and it helps people like you find content like this. And if you are new here, then do me a massive favor and hit the subscribe button 
toggle that notification bell so you know when I go live with content like this. Thank you for watching and look out for more Complete Nutrition product reviews coming in the future. I'll see you around very, very soon. Thank you.